Lord have mercy, we are back for more of the Banter Bar. <laughs> Joseph is unfortunately vacationing at his new job. Pussy. So, we are joined by the man, the myth, the beard, the greatest ass on the planet, my cousin Toby. How are you doing, Toby? I'm good. How are you? I'm a little drunk. Are you ready to drink some beers and ask, answer some questions? Yes, sir. I almost said Let's ask some questions. Like Ask some questions because you're thinking about my ass again. I, I might be. You and Joseph just... Yeah. Mr. Perfection sits around thinking about your beard. Yeah. And you sit around thinking about my ass. First beer. Is. Either way, they're both weird. <laughs> so, the first beer is Adios Pantalones. Pantalones. Pantaloons! I'm going to have some citrus notes. It's a light beer. So, it's going to go good with like some grilled chicken or fish, I think. Okay. Um, lighter foods. And it makes you want to say goodbye to your motherfucking pants, goodbye dog. Pants. This one's from Rar and Sons. <clears throat> Rar and Sons Brewing Company. Which, if memory serves is, me correctly, is a brewery that you really enjoy. It is. Question is, which STD scares you the most? That is a sexually transmitted disease. So we got to have sex to get this. Yeah. <laughs> Can we even answer this question? How long you been married? 12, 11, almost 12 let's, years. Let's be fair. How long have you been with her? Oh. And I don't mean oh. sexually because, you know, you're married now. So that <clears throat> is a while ago. How long have y'all been together as a couple? Forgive me for this because I'm probably going to get the time wrong. But it's definitely been 20... Two years? Come October, I believe it'll be 22 years. Mine's 14. So. So, cheers. Let's try it. Cheers. By the way, I want to say. Relationships. Yeah, to those. <laughs> this one smells much more promising than just lemon and lime. There's something Christmassy about this thing. I like Christmas. Hmm. But then you taste it. I think it might smell better than it tastes. But there's something that's really nice to smell and a little bit on the back end. You kind of taste it. I don't really get lemon and lime much at all. No. <clears throat> it's almost copper, but in a good way. I don't know how hmm. that could be in a good way, but I enjoy drinking it. So... To me, it has not much taste at all. Um, it's a four. Okay. It's drinkable on a hot summer day, but I, I don't know that I could remember to go get it to, to get this particular beer for that occasion. Aftertaste after a minute is kind of off-putting. I would still go with a five, though. Okay. I could see just <clears throat> drinking a shit ton of this. And wanting to take my pants off. I wouldn't do it unless you I was usually you. want to take your pants off anyway, don't you? Well, if I were you, I would. Mm. You know what I mean? Not for the full frontal, but for the... <laughs> <laughs> we're really going to play this out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. You we, are. <laughs> we don't normally have discussions like this in day-to-day. Somebody once said to me in passing at a party or something, was like, Toby got a really round ass. He got a nice ass. And it was kind of stuck Here we with go me. Again. I'm just trying wow. to get it out of the way so we can move forward. I thought we did that at the beginning of this. Okay. I saw on the website, I believe, that they have retired this beer. Um, I'm not saying they won't bring it back. Yeah. But right now, it said it unavailable, retired. Just if you see it, grab it up. Yep. So, because what's on the shelves, that that might be it. Mm -hmm. Which That's STD you. scares me the most? Oh man, um, luckily never had one. So, probably all of them. 
But the most... The idea is fairly frightening, right? Just it is. Right off the it bat. Is. It is. <laughs> the most would probably be... Um, Herbie's. Yeah, it's kind of a sad state of affairs, but you feel like everything else they can kind of handle. Like even AIDS at this point, you kind of just live with it, right? Most people are living with it. Yeah. But a herpes, that shit apparently pops up and it's gross. And whenever you don't want it to. You know, anything that after a few weeks you're like, you know, a few times a year, I can't take my pants off right now. No, no. Give me crabs. Let me itch for a while. I've never had an STD, by the way. So that's a minor miracle. Next beer. <laughs> it's the Bud Light Chilada. The original Bud Light, not Bud Weiser. And you had an interesting fact. We're backwards, by the way. Okay. But you had an interesting fact about Clamato. So for those of you that don't know, a Clamato is going to be a mix of clam broth with tomato something. Tomatoes. Paste? Juice? Um, tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. I like it the clams. My wife is looking at me with her mouth hanging open. That ain't a pussy joke. But it is. This ain't SpaghettiOs. I don't know what it is. So what's this supposed to pair with? Uh, there wasn't much information, but I'm thinking like any type of brunch food that you would have Bloody Mary with. Yeah. Nope. So I don't like tomato. Okay. Uh, soups. I don't like tomato juice. I don't like tomato anything really as it is. Um, and, I, I've and rarely seen this guy pour a beer out. Period. That is <laughs> cold tomato soup. That's cold tomato soup. That's what this one is. Exactly what it is. Very ground pepper in it, maybe, but cold tomato soup. I'm going with a six. One of them's I, really stood out. This ain't it. For me, it's a two. For me, it's a two. They are. It's tomato juice. It's nasty. What's your ideal loadout in a multiplayer shooter? Decision. Is the loadout just the first weapon? A, a three weapon loadout? I think a loadout is the totality. Totality. So if you're talking about Black Ops, um, you've got your pick 10. What do you take? Uh, if it's Destiny, what are you running? You know? Some sort of automatic weapon. Okay. A shotgun. A lot of people hate shotgun, but I run the shotgun. It's like an auto rifle and a shotgun. Yeah, an auto rifle and a shotgun. You got, and, you got a heavy. And the heavy would probably be a uh, rocket launcher. What about like uh, your tactical gear? Let's say just one. You, you have to pick one among grenades and flashbangs and all that shit. Grenade. Sticky grenade if it's available. All right. Take the sidearm primary. I would agree with you on shotgun. Um, you want, you may want sniper rifle for the range if you're running that little thing, but shotgun because <clears throat> I run and gun. Heavy, yeah. I'm gonna come down on sword. I really like sword. Okay. And then for tactical, I think C4. If I can throw mm. it and deploy it later, as some of you, can attest to. That's what I'm going to use. And you're going to fucking hate me. But next up. We have Foster's. It's Australian for beer. And this is the lager. This is the lager, which is, to me, it's better than the L. So Foster's has very malt aroma. I just um, tasted it before I even smelled it. You ever done that? Maybe you run up on it and you're afraid it's going to be clam juice. You know what I mean? 
<clears throat> go ahead. It's good. Yeah. Vanilla notes. Mm-hmm. Some taste of vanilla notes. It is a good beer. I think it's an eight. Yeah, it's the kind of beer that when the glass empties, you want to fill it up again. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm gonna do. Uh, apparently, this one could be paired with spicy foods and burgers. I could see it. it yeah. Would take take the edge off a little bit. You know, make your mouth stop stop being on fire. Or if you like a vanilla burger, it's the vanilla is very light. This is a really good beer. It is. Uh, it is a very basic good beer. So. Yeah. You know, I don't like being too basic. So seven. But hey, okay. that's still great. Yeah. Question, because I keep forgetting to read these. If you could teleport to any place on the planet, where would you go most often? On the planet. Yep. Anywhere on the planet. Oh, man. So don't go to Mars and die. Right. Mars ain't ready for you, Toby. Yeah, there. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna be the first Martian. Oh, my fucking apologies. Um, I'm thinking something like Scotland. Do explain. Never been, for one, but seeing pictures and, and just knowing that it has a history, I think it would be a beautiful place to go back to multiple times. I, I have a two-part answer because I can never, I never know how to answer these questions. There's the adventurous person in my mind who wants to see Machu Picchu really bad for some reason. Hmm. And it's not just about standing there where, you know, agriculture was coming into existence on the top of this fucking mountain. It's amazing. Just to see the views that they saw, because they always show you these pictures of Machu Picchu. You never see what you're seeing from Machu Picchu. And okay. that had to be a big deal. Hmm. Uh, but the other part of my answer would definitely be to the places where my family are, the people that I never see. So you're talking about like Peck, Idaho, or Orofino, Idaho, or Japan. Yeah. Okay. It made me feel bad. You take it to family. And I'm trying to get away from people. You go to Scotland where nobody you knows. You love me. your family plenty and everybody <laughs> knows it. The family, even even my direct family love love you more than they love me. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the most asshole thing you can say. Yeah. Not more. They just they they appreciate seeing you in the crowd. I think what that stems from is you always felt like immediate family, but you didn't get to be around as much as we wanted you to be when you were younger. And that bothered everybody. And yeah. hence the reason why I spend so many weekends with you over the course of a lifetime. Hopefully that comes back into play now that the uh, pandemic and things are lessening. We got that vaccinated attitude. Yeah. It's going down. Okay. You ready to move on? Yeah, I'm going to ask this question. Are you still drinking beer? Man, the Foster's is good. The Foster's is really good. I didn't rate it extremely high, but it is extremely drinkable. It is. It's better than the green can, and you will keep coming back to it. And everything is better than this can. <laughs> you know what's funny about this, by the way, is that you are one of the few people who I know that can handle an IPA and think okay of it. Yeah. And we don't have a single fucking IPA on the Not table tonight. Not a single tonight. one. <laughs> All right. Before you there crack are IPAs that, that I like. Before you crack that, so, um, you've endured a lot of my home brews. Yes. And I know that some of the more recent stuff that I did with Joseph wasn't up to par for normal standards. I did a while back give you some um, Applejack. The Applejack. Yes, and you did. I think it was good, but it was a little too caramelly for me because I put the concentrate in it. Anyway. I don't, I don't know that I can agree with that. I thought it was good. Yes, you did. So the question becomes, is this Applejack 
Or is this my refrigerated piss cup? <laughs> oh, God. If this is the piss cup, sir, please drink more water. So the Applejack is Ooh. the, if you saw our homebrew episode, it's the apple cider and you freeze it. The, the I wouldn't try and take no, it from good. you. I you're just, good. I need to touch. Oh my God. So the cider initially. You touch the long round thing. Yes, I do. I do. Stroke it. It's, it's so familiar to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> cider initially <clears throat> filled this completely, right? This was full of cider and I froze it and I turned it upside down and I let the alcohol drip out. I froze it again. Let it drain. Eventually you get rid of enough of the, the water in the ice, which ice is water for those who don't know. Ice is frozen water. But what initially or what eventually happens is that you wind up with something that will not freeze because the alcohol content of a cider that's normally, I think it was 9% when we started, okay. gets above 80%. And once it's 80%, it will not freeze. So unless this is my piss, there's quite a bit of alcohol in it. I'm going to go on a limb and say it's not your piss. <laughs> I'm going to pour me a I'm, cup. I'm going to sit here and watch you drink it so, before I... Try not to take all of it, but I'll go ahead and let you pour a cup too. I'm not saying that this is freeze distilled cider. Word of caution though, to those who think to make this sort of thing, when you make a homebrew, the yeast makes two types of alcohol. Ethanol is the good shit that we get drunk on. It also makes a minute amount of methanol, methane. And that stuff can make you go blind. Hmm. It's why when you're running a still, they get rid of the first jar of moonshine. Because if you drink that shit, it's almost pure methane, and it makes you go blind. Are you saying the yeast farts? Well, yeah, the yeast farts. So are you drinking? No, milk? you've. I, I it was myself? to you, sir. I'm by this myself. Might be on my, this, this might be my piss. Okay. Did you smell it? <laughs> Question was, what would you do with a flamethrower? So here's a question you never thought you'd be asked. Go ahead. Did that taste like my piss? <laughs> no, it did not. I got drunk on this quite a few times. Did you regret it? Some morning. <laughs> but. Man. I've never bought anything out of a store like this that it's a 10. Yeah! Really? I, I think it's a 10. I love this Applejack. Okay. So Applejack is your friend. Yes, very much so. All right. It, it's... It's better than the one I made last year. I think the lack of concentrate makes it pucker. It makes it a little more tart. I'm just glad it's not piss. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. That's Applejack. And it smells mm, so good. Coffee, chocolate, just amazing. Guinness is amazing. So, what you so, got to tell us about this beer? Uh, well, like I said, notes of chocolate and coffee. And it should really go well with a rich, spicy foods like barbecues, uh, sausages, stuff like that. So... Smelling it, I could see that. Yeah. Sausage primarily. Uh, tasting it, though. I've had a few of these. Let's see. Let's go.
Mm, man. So the beautiful thing about a Guinness is it tastes like it should be sweet, like super sweet, like a chocolate pie, but it's not. It has this dark chocolate bitterness to it. Yeah. And this is one of the few coffee drinks where you still taste the base beer like a motherfucker. Yeah. Is there coffee there? Or definitely heavy hints of coffee. Mm Mm-hmm. And light hints of chocolate. Yeah. And that that's what makes it great because you don't have that sweet, heavy beer. That's that's good. That is. I'm torn. Guinness. It's at Guinness. least a nine. Okay. It's at least a nine. Guinness truly hits the spot sometimes. That's for sure. Uh, I've had this enough to know that even though I'm thinking really highly of it tonight, in the grand scheme, it's going to be an eight. Like, that's a bad thing. (laughs) What would you do with a flamethrower? I would would first like that can. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm boat guarding the can. What would I do with a flamethrower? Um... Go ahead and top this whole glass off this time. That is not a question I expected. (laughs) And that one is taking much more thought than some of the others. Because pretty sure anything I would want to do with a flamethrower would get me arrested. I would get in trouble with my wife. That's what I would do with a flamethrower. Okay. I would. Actually, yes, you would. Yeah. Do you remember the birthday when I bought you a bunch of uh, like toys, like weapon type toys? And uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty <laughs> sure I got a throwing knife and um, uh, a slingshot. I think was in there too. Yeah, I just knew that most of that was probably never going to see the light of day. But just just for you to be excited for a little while. That's the, I'm 12 again. So what you're telling me is you were setting me up. For disappointment? For trouble. No. To get in trouble. No. You, she was never going to let you use them. Or did she? Oh, but she? I did. Okay. But I, I threw the knives at something. I don't know what it was, but I threw them at something. Hopefully it wasn't her. No. No, 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 no. She probably threw them at me a time or two. <laughs> Probably did something to deserve it too, though. Um, <laughs> I would definitely burn out the fire ants in my yard. Okay. With a flamethrower. What I was thinking was that uh, in video games, I had a lot of fun burning down a marijuana field with a flamethrower. Okay. Which is stupid because I would never actually do that in real life. Although I think you could get the real- town would be happy. You could get super stoned on whatever you're doing there for a second, and then you're probably going to jail because you don't leave the field. Because you, yeah. You know, and they find you. And then there's an ICP song about a flamethrower, which I think is a lot of fun, that song is. Okay. Um, For those of you that don't know, Shane is a juggalo. I wouldn't go that far. I like no. ICP a lot. That's what their followers are called. Right? I know. Juggalos or is it deeper than that? I don't know. Is a juggalo deeper than just following the music? I am okay. I'm down with the clown. You're down with the clown. Call me a juggalo. I'm good. But you're not a juggalo. I'm good. Okay. I rarely paint my face. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I hear you. So. I was a I'm fire. down with the clown too. You are. I, I do like ICP. I, I I catch some hell about it at work sometimes. I don't like the you know the. But I like ICP too. ICP gets made a meme out of for certain lyrics and stuff. Completely understandable. Uh, most of the time, I hear the lyrics that show up in memes, and yeah, I get it. But at the same time, these are two dudes you'd never think would be superstars, and. The, the stuff they do in music, nobody's ever done. 
You can try to pretend other people have, but they right. haven't. And, and and people should look into the charity work they do. Yeah. They do a lot of charity work for their community. So, anyway. What I was saying is that their flamethrower song mixed with the fact that I was kind of a, a, a firebug as a kid. Okay. They kind of encouraged it. They they told me to stay away from fire, and it just made me want to see fire more and play with fire more. Of course. You're a kid. But I don't think, based on some of those experiences, that I would ever use a flamethrower. So if you gave it to me, what I would do is nothing. Okay. Let's try to spice the pickle. This is by Best Made in Fort Worth. Uh, Martin House Brewing, which you've already had in one of these beers, I believe. Yeah. But this is the spicy version. So. And the question is, what sort of event would you like to host, which you've yet to? Now, when it comes to pickles. <laughs> <laughs> that, is yeah. all this, that is all this is. It's pickle. No, no, I, I beg to differ. So. <laughs> this. It is pickle. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Cup number two, Toby. Okay. Still has some uh, coffee in it, but here we go. Look at the head on that beast. Wow. We're going to do this back to back, huh? I just put it in both cups, I realized. <laughs> so I had an extra sour pickle. We're going to try is... the sour and the spicy, because... You've had it, but it's been a long I've had time. It. Yes. We've never had the spicy. The spicy smells different. The difference is this is a normal pickle. This is something else. Yeah. This is closer to bread and butter. Okay. Um spicy. It smells like maybe it's there. Like jalapeno without much of any spice to it. Like you get the jalapeno flavor. Maybe? I'm thinking Tabasco. More than jalapeno. Oh, really? Tabasco. I could be wrong, but Tabasco's harsh. Something. Let's give what it a shot. What are we trying first? Oh, by the way, you can pair this food wise with whatever you want. <laughs> Things are going to be horrible either way. Would you ask me? We're trying spicy first? Yeah. All right. Mm. It is, it is spicier, and you're right. There is more Tabasco there oh. than jalapeno. It does feel like Tabasco. The first drink is is pickle, and the aftertaste is spice. Yeah, your tongue just kind of kicks, and kicks that is some spice. At least the spice is there to to overtake the pickle. So what about the normal? Oh. Well, hang on. You want to rate it first? Wrong. Yeah. We should do that. So you're still drinking. I don't know if I can take another drink of this. But I'm going to so I can rate it. <laughs> Ooh. That's a zero. Okay. That's a zero. That's Oh, that's bad. I'm going all the way up to a five for this beast. What? The spicy factor okay. overrides the vinegar to an extent that even though I I don't, and I mean I really don't like Tabasco. I like a lot of hot sauces. Yeah, you like, do. I don't like I, Tabasco. I didn't know you didn't like Tabasco. It's not my favorite. But something about the combination here. It's pleasant when the aftertaste is still hitting you with spice. Mm -hmm. So you're not getting the pickled vinegar or the sour beer that's underlying this. It's just, it's better. It's so much better to me than the original sour pickle. But let's see what you think. Uh, uh, hang on. Okay. I, I agree with the spice uh, taking over, but it's in the aftertaste. Yeah. So, when you're drinking a beer, you're not really drinking for aftertaste. That's true. You're, you're, you're drinking for the for the beer. And, and the beer's horrible. 
Lord oh, help here me. we go. Here we are again, my friend. And this is the sour pickle. Oh, boy. Nope. Pickle juice in your face. <laughs> so go on and tell me how this one might be a little bit better. It's not. Mm -hmm. What'd you rate the other one? A zero. Well, you can't go negative, so I'm guessing another zero. It's a zero. Okay. I, I might move the other one up to a two compared to this one. But this one is this one is a zero because I, I now see what you're saying about the spice elements helping the vinegar and the mm -hmm. that's where it's at. That's bad. I could actually drink that's bad. I could drink an entire can of this. Okay. I couldn't drink a quarter of a can of this. I like the taste of pickle juice yeah. enough to get me to get me through a few swallows. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't drink The spice much. helps. I, I, I see what you're saying there. What sort of event would you like to host, which you've yet to? I think I should be the new host of Jeopardy. All right. No, not really. But, anyways. <laughs> um, hmm. What you've yet to means you've, you've hosted an event, which I've never really... I don't, I don't know if I've hosted an event. Um, does Thanksgiving count as an event? I'm thinking of your 30th birthday party. 30th that birthday was party was an event. There were motherfuckers that was doing an cake all stand. night event. Spent an entire life planning parties and making you, the parties you've happen. Some good parties. You've you've planned some uh, James Bond parties. Um, uh, eight. No. Yeah, I didn't no, do eight. That wasn't the eighties. That was Ray, Ray, yeah. Ray born from the Rated Radio Podcast. Let's drink some more Guinness and think about it. A dinner party in which I use my pit boss smoker to cook for everybody. Because I'm, I'm trying to really get into learning how to smoke different foods. How to, to cook on a smoker type. Yeah. People say it's cheating with a pit boss, but because it's pellet fed and you don't really have to work, but that gives you more time for this. The answer to the question that I haven't answered is a songwriting party. I always thought it would be cool um, to sit around with some, some people and write songs, people who wouldn't normally think to write music. Uh, that would be interesting to me because I know how much you can get done in a short span of time. And that would be fun. Yeah. That would be fun. We should do it. I could get in on that. This one I'm excited for. I was excited for the Guinness, and I'm excited for the Shiner. Neither of us have had it. Shiner has always been my beer. Shiner Bach. Shiner's Brewer's Pride. Belgian honey using Burleson's honey. Do you know what Brewer's Which Pride is, by the way? I'm guessing it's something that they... They one off like annually. They do a different, unique type beer or something. Maybe so. Uh, I know it's not around for very long. When they release a Brewers Pride brew, um, but I don't know if they've entered it into anything or not. Why is Shiner Twist off? So, so you, you can get the beer out. out. <laughs> Shiner brand beers have got to be my favorite beers, except for one. They did release one that I will never buy. A Ruby Redbird. A Ruby Redbird because don't, I hate I grapefruit. Hate, grapefruit. I hate grapefruit. I think what's interesting Juice. about that is you you seem to love blood orange. And blood orange is so close to grapefruit no, in my no, mind. It, okay. It I disagree. Grapefruit is the nastiest fruit ever. And there, there's no reason to have it in your home. The question is, Go ahead. would you ride in a blimp? Ooh, in a blimp. Did you, did you just try it? Yeah, I Without did. Me? I wasn't thinking, okay. but I tried it. Uh, so the aroma should be sweet, earthy, floral. Yes, you get that. The taste should give you some vanilla, some clove. And according to your notes here, Toby, it should pair well with lighter food like chicken salads or brats. 
I hope Shiner makes this part of their actual year-round beers. Dude, that's a fucking nine. I'm not going to say it's a ten because I'm drunk, but that's a nine. I agree. That is that is very much a nine. I wish it was colder. The honey is and, so subtle. Uh, yeah. If you uh, took the, not the champagne of beers, because I was wrong about that, a Stella Artois, Ooh. and you mixed it with like a Shiner Bock and just a small amount of honey. It's so good, dude. That That is a good comparison. There's a little bit left if you want the little bit. <laughs> and I know you want the little bit. Would Whoa. you ride in a blimp? Would I ride in a blimp? Yes. Yes, I would. Explain yourself, sir. Um, my wife and I in the past have actually talked seriously about hot air balloon rides. Okay. Um, because That's Plano has... I, I know it's different. Okay. It's different. okay. I'll set up. Um, Plano has the hot air balloon festival every year. Mm -hmm. And and they do tethered rides to where the, it just goes in the air and comes right back down. Or they do actual, actual trips. Um, so a blimp, I feel, would probably be safer than a hot air balloon. And and a little bit more guidable. Hot air balloon, you're, I, I assume it's kind of like sailing the ocean. You're just kind of dependent on the wind for where you're going. Okay. I um, never thought about where blimp, it would blow. Yeah. A blimp, I assume it, it's going to be guided and, and safer. So, yes, I would. So, you at least have some directionality yeah. in a blimp versus a hot air balloon. Man, blimps scare me. Hmm. I've seen like the the burning videos too much, you know. And I guess you okay. could, if you had like a parachute or something, you could just jump out of it. And I should be scared of hot air balloons because you could just tip over the side at any yeah. point, right? But there's not much I'd say no to, but. It would have to be conditional. Okay. Like if you gave me a, a parachute and I was wearing it constantly in the blimp, I'd ride in it. Otherwise, so mm -mm. so you say you've seen so many videos. How many different blimps have you actually seen catch on fire? In videos? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Or is it I've just also the same the, blimp? I've seen the ghost blimp like right into the ocean town too with no passengers on it. Like, yeah. everyone aborted the blimp for some reason, and they never found all the bodies, which is another thing. People try to say, like, well, if it's over water, it's okay. No, it's not. Dude, my ass gonna burn, uh, my ass gonna burn up in that blimp before I jump off in the ocean in the middle uh, of nowhere. Yeah, there's no telling what gets you in the ocean. That's a good beer. That is really a good, is beer. good beer. I'll take some more. Foster's. It's Australian for beer, mate. If you could mix any two of these. It will have to be Guinness and Foster's because we've already finished the All right, let's see what it is. Whew. Let's see how it goes. Well, and not much of this one left either. I'm not going to lie. I was going to do some really fucked up shit, but seeing what my options are left here, I want to try the Clamato. You have problems, bro. With the spicy. Oh, my. Is that wrong? No, Should I do use it. the Adios do Pantalonis? It. Do it. Do well, it. Maybe, maybe it's more drinkable with the Pantalonis. It's I'm, already I'm curious. It's I'm already curious. I'm they're, they're close to the same color. Y'all agree. Do it. Cheers. Boy, that fucking vinegar cuts through. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> oh, no. Hold up. Oh, no. It's slightly spicy. It blends well with that pepper. It's, oh. You got another glass over there, right? Yeah. 
This is a hamburger beer. I'll try That's yours. That's what I just made. I'll try yours. You try mine. Let's see what we got here. Because mine is actually probably still around a six. It's still good. Oh, it smells decent. So. You smell a lot of coffee. You taste a lot of coffee. Apparently, if you just water the Guinness down a little bit with a different beer, you get a lot of coffee. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude, it's it's a liquid fucking hamburger. <laughs> to you, maybe. To me, that is still nasty. Without the hamburger. <laughs> Without the meat. Oh, that that is... <laughs> Toby needs meat. I, I just do not care for... Pickle juice, apparently. All right. Or if, tomato. If you're out there and you really love chiladas, mix it with this. Mix your favorite chilada with this. Just a little bit of this. I put a little too much in. It might be closer to the to the Bloody Mary that you're expecting this to taste like because it's got some spice. If I remember right, a Bloody Mary is supposed to have some spice to it. Where clamato chiladas don't have too much spice. So it, that might be enjoyable to a lot of people. Most of the Bloody Marys I've had have been too alcoholic. Okay. Like they put liquor in them and, you know, <laughs> not a big liquor fan. Uh, it's still going to be a six, but it's very unique. Now this, if you want, if you want this to taste more like coffee, <clears throat> just mix a it one. with Foster's. They're still bad. Zero, one, something like that. This and this? Yeah. Yeah. And what about your concoction? Mine, I said a six. It, it's, it's good. It's drinkable. I'll agree. There's not much change in it. I'll agree. The coffee, the co I think you said the coffee is much more uh, flavorful there. Yeah, the Guinness falls away, so it, 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 but the coffee comes through. So if your goal is to stop so tasting good. the dark Guinness for some reason, taste more of the coffee, mix yeah. it with a Foster's lager. That's our show. That's our show. Oh, Thanks that's for show. Why don't you try that again? That's our show. I'm Toby. I still don't think we got it. It's always very awkward. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm right. intoxicated right now. Okay. Yes, I am. That does it for another week of the Banter Bar. I'm Shane. I'm Toby. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time on the Banter Bar. Because we haven't said it enough. Jesus. I'll just leave you a little sip in case you want to go back. I appreciate the sip. I think I could drink quite a bit of this. I just want to see how it feels in my mouth. I guess we'll see you next time. On the band, bro.